another burger, another copycat, and one we believe that will be just as delicious as it is simple. You wanna see our take on Culver's sourdough melt? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. Welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brent. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time being with us though, welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do, no matter where we're doing it. We happen to be in Brent's Brickyard Bistro, the Triple B. Triple B, we're Saver on Town. the Mayor of Saver And Town. to start this video off, we're super excited. We were in the middle of filming another video when FedEx dropped off this lovely package. There goes FedEx that just dropped off this. Brett, what's in there? Uh, if I had to guess, I'm guessing the Ultimate Griddle Utensil Set. The oh, five piece man. set, Are you totally me? geeked for this. Yes. Hey, Morgan, shout to Morgan. Shout out to Morgan and Barrett for Barrett. hooking us up, making sure we got this. We know what this is, so let's just crack right into this. Brett, hold that side. Easy, easy, breezy, lemony, squeezy. Cover. Girl. Yes. What do you know? There it is. It's like Christmas morning. There it is. Brett has the ultimate griddle set. We're anxious to get into this because We're I'm going to use it. I had mine right at the tail end of our last film session, so we weren't able to use anything. And he forgot to bring them this time. And I forgot to bring them this time. So we've done a few, but this so, is beautiful. We're Morgan super excited. Coming in clutch on this We're one. We're going to clean these up, and we will be using these to feature and highlight and use them, and to feature them and also use them. And feature them. And <laughs> We're also going to use them. I think we'll use these today in today's cook for this sourdough melt. Now, these are huge! They are. One thing, if you if you followed our channel for a long time, you know that we used to do fast food reviews all the time. We used to love it. Culver's was one of our favorite places to go. Yep. Um, I've never had their sourdough melt, but I know it is a favorite there. Yep. And as we were looking at different ideas, different cooks that we could do, I happened to go to Culver's last week. I got the double deluxe. Okay, and that's a go-to. I got the double deluxe, while well, yes, it was great, I couldn't stop thinking about the sourdough melt. And yeah. I thought, Brent, we're filming this weekend, let's do our own take on it. It seems so simple. Yes. Talk about how simple it is, Brent, get to the, get to the groceries. What are we looking at? So here? simple, as you can see, these huge meatballs. <laughs> we are going to be doing a smash on these. It is 80-20 beef. We've got the sourdough bread, which we'll be toasting, buttering both sides on the flat top as well and red onion and this white cheddar cheese. That is it, it is a simple, delicious, well, we haven't tried it yet, but we know it's gonna right. be good. Now, we know that Culver's is from Wisconsin, and so they use their white Wisconsin aged cheddar. Yep. We couldn't find aged Wisconsin cheddar here. We had to go as close as we could Vermont. We had to go <laughs> up to Vermont and claim this ourselves. Our Publix didn't have the Wisconsin cheese, they did have the Vermont. Uh, we're pretty sure it's gonna be pretty close. We're gonna fry up the onions just a little bit and also the burgers. Now, Brett was saying a semi-smash, and the reason these patties are so big is because we need them, when they shrink down, is 80, 20 ground beef? Yes. It's gonna be the size of the, the bread fat. is the hope, mm -hmm. but that's where we're going. And the way we do the cheese, we're gonna dress it exactly like they do. Nothing else, Brett, no, that's it. no yeah. seasoning, no Simple. mayo, nothing. nothing. I mean, seasoning with salt and pepper. Of course. And then buttering the bread. The Which they already cooks. are seasoning as we speak. All right, let's get to the cook. Okay. All right, Brett brought me the utensils fray, fresh out of the wash. Well, he had washed them, but there we go. Uh, super excited to use this. This is the scraping tool. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is we are going to butter. Now, both sides of this bread are going to be toasted. I'm putting it here. The, the, the um, griddle is really hot right now. So we're gonna butter this side. All right, put that down. And then while that's on, I'm going to butter the other side of the bread. I'm pull this off to our cool side while we get a little bit more butter. In fact, this one's good. So let me pull that into our hot zone. Okay, that's toasted just about done. All right, so we get that one turned. And that one, Brett, we may have enough butter because it's buttered on the one side. What do you think? Bread is toasted up, so we got enough butter for that one, Brett. So if I'm gonna pull this off. I'm going like this. Just, yeah, right here. Watch this. The other thing I wanna do in this butter that's here, Brett, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these onions on. We just kinda wanna cook these. We're not sauteing them or anything. We're just gonna let those cook through. Where's my utensils? Right here. Your utensils. Mm -hmm. All right, and that toast is perfect. Here we go, bro. Oh, I'll put it in the basket over there where we're gonna build. And all I wanna do is toast these on one side, toast those up on the other side. Shh. 
All right. And then, Brett, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these off to the side so they can continue to slightly cook okay. on the griddle while we do the burgers because the burgers are going to cook super fast. Sweet. All right. Those are just about how I want them. Yep. A little bit cooked. Perfect. So let's get some good flavor. And now for the meatballs. You want to slap those bad boys on? More than anything in my entire life. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. We got. Our parchment paper. So these are. This is going to get huge. I actually need to make sure I got enough room here. I'm going to press and hold. It's very impressive, Adam. 15 seconds. Whoa! Are you sure that's going to shrink <laughs> down to the press size? <laughs> it's the size of a personal pizza. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, I may or may not have overestimated. Adam's those a little over ambitious. That's all right. Hey, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> Our personal meat pizzas. Now, because these are bigger, I can leave them on just a little bit longer. Those are nice and seared, though, bro. So, all we're doing, we're going to have a light mired reaction on these. Look at that. For these, you want to make sure you're doing it on high heat anytime you're looking for a mired reaction. We've got some good crust that we want on this. This one will have a little bit more here as this sears to it, but the griddle itself is on medium heat rather than high, but you can see the crust right here. That's what we're going for. Looks great, but these are going to be really big. Yes, they but are. This is really simple. So the way that Culver's builds these here. is we're going to take our onions and we're going to put the onions on one patty. And then the cheese goes crisscross applesauce on the other patty. And we actually are quadding up the cheese here because they cut it very thin. And obviously an odd shaped block of cheese. There you go. That's it. You want to go mm -hmm. one more? I got four. So I'm going to tell you what happened. Yeah. When I pulled out the cheese, we pulled out the white American. So right now we just threw on some of the cheddar. We'll let oh, that melt in. That is good. So this might be up a notch. This is the Walt Twins take. We throw American cheddar apparently on there. American white, white American cheese. What a on happy there. accident that was. That, was, that might have been. I love mixing cheeses. When I started getting into cooking, we talk especially about American cheese, really blends, and of course the cicadas are liking it as well. Welcome to Florida, <sighs> WTF. All right. So we're gonna top that up, Brett. See. Sometimes you trust the process. <laughs> How perfect is okay. that? Oh my word, dude. You kidding me? And we're gonna, I guess I should get the bread going the same way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get that ready and we're gonna cut that up and then we're gonna eat it up. There it is in, in all, all its, its glory. glory. Uh, absolutely amazing. A happy accident. Happy accident, yes. We, now we have American and Vermont cheddar. It's really funny because I thought we'd already used the white American cheese, so I wasn't even worried when I went and grabbed it. Brett said, here's where the cheese is. I went and grabbed it, I didn't even look. I saw the white on there, and I figured it was white aged uh, Vermont cheese. It was not, it was the white American. That's, I'm blaming on Brett. That's um, fine. <laughs> I'll take no, the, I'll bad, take the blame. But when we found out, guess what? Like I said, more melting cheese. So this might be different if we were just the cheddar, but we had a little touch, a little Walton's twist on this, which may be a, like we say, a really good happy accident. Happy Brett, accident, Let me go ahead and this down. Look at that. All right. But, but, Brett, <laughs> but like we say, it can look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, that char there. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all, all for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that. My, my brother. brother. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Nope. Dude. Nope. Do you, know what, do you know what it's reminiscent of? Nope. Do you know what I'm thinking? Because of the amount of cheese, that gourmet grilled cheese sandwich that we did. By the way, what I'm saying nope to, no other way to do it. Mm. That's a pinkies up type situation. Mm. Dude, like crisp that you get from the onion, 
With that bite, oh my God. And the slight of the, the sourdough bread. Oh my God, yes, the sourdough bread. That's a good burger. That is a fantastic burger. You called it a good burger. One of the best. We got issues. Oh. As far as the burger itself. I'm so happy. And I say this so many times, when we make smash burgers, this was the best one yet. Yeah. From the burger standpoint itself. Juicy. And beyond I belief. Say, I was ready to say, Culver's doesn't do it right because then it needs more. It needs nothing. Nothing more. Adam, we were talking about doing some mayonnaise. Yeah, we talked about doing a little bit of mayonnaise, maybe a little sauce on there. Mustard. Like, because we've done a melt before, patty melt yep. with our dressing. Mm -hmm. And um, we decided, you know what? Let's don't, let's just do this pure and thank heavens we did. It now we're going to have to go nothing. to Culver's and see if it compares. Oh my God. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> I feel bad for Culver's. Yeah, sorry, Culver's. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Culver's, sorry. This is absolutely incredible. You have to try this one. If you do no other copycat, I think I say all the time, if you do yeah. no other copycat, you gotta do this one. Yes, this was try incredible. It. A hondo. This was absolutely amazing and honestly, one of my favorite burgers we've ever done. Yep. Uh, honestly, this would be top five easy. So good. I mean, it's hard for me to go beyond the all American, just cheddar, but we're doing something else. This is, and the American with the cheddar. Banger. Yes. I don't know that I would do it another way. Uh -uh. I don't I, want to try it with just the cheddar. Locus agree. Cicadas Locus. agree. Cicadas agree. Cicadas agree. Yeah. We hope you did like this. If we did, and it's one that you're going to do because you got to do it. <laughs> or if you just like this video, make sure and give us a thumbs up. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions. works closely with Crossroads Missions, and Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their service work. Brett, I love that we came and did this one. So do I. This was good, a good call. mood, a good mood, good, good call. mood food, good, good mood, mood food. food. Yes, and I'm in the mood. And tastes for... tastes like more. Right. You know what we didn't do? We didn't lay it the smash it down. We did not lay it the smash it down, but we did. Let's restart over. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we lay it the smash it down. We yes. just didn't say lay it the, the smash it down. Next yeah, time. Next yeah. time. Yeah. Aside from coming to make this banger, now probably one of my all-time favorite burgers we've ever done. Yes. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on! I'm gonna go feast.